Helldivers 2 has had the most insane fiasco I have ever seen in my life. This is a company, Arrowhead Studios, the creators of Helldivers, the in most insane trajectory. The original Helldivers being a small top-down, basically a PS Vita game, and then making it to the sensation that Helldivers 2 and like the community engagement and just like the pro-consumer mindset that they've had has been incredible. However, if you haven't heard PlayStation has mandated that they have PSN sign-ins with their with Helldivers 2 on PC. So if you wanted to play Helldivers 2 on PC, you were mandated to use PSN sign-in feature. So you had to create a PSN account if you didn't already have one, link it, and then you could play. And they gave you a month's notice in advance. So this is actually probably going to go live in end of June. The problem, because at first glance you go, well, that's not big of a deal. And this is why I love the Goslings and the greatest gaming community, aka the Goslings. The reason I love this stream is because you guys keep me honest. And I wanted to shout out Luke Ritt. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that, or Lurk Ritt, right? I think it's Lurk Ritt. Um, he let me know, and we just didn't have time to go on on stream, but I since took the time, obviously, this week, that the reason that the PSN signing is such a big deal um, is because it PSN is not supported on every single country. So what happens is essentially by having this PSN login for these uh, for, for PC is not every country can play. And if you already own the game in Steam and now you need to log in with PSN and the country doesn't allow it, well, all of a sudden <laughs> you can't play. So that was the big controversy. And essentially what happened was players made quite the stink. The Steam reviews went like overwhelmingly negative overwhelmingly because that is the main power that uh players had basically they, they hit the game where it hurt and they put a lot of pressure on arrowhead studios which is a shame because i would say that this is not in their hands uh this is a sony mandated thing and really kind of a shame that they got put in the crossfire it must have been insanely stressful for the team at arrowhead Airhead Studios, but PlayStation has now come out and said this. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. So, all of the stink that happened through the Steam uh, negative reviews, because essentially I would say that's the only... I mean, yeah, there's Twitter backlash and stuff, but really that's like the reviews slow down sales, so... That is the power there from the community. Um, we're still learning what is best for PC players and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2 and we'll keep you updated on future plans. So they've gone ahead and retracted the account linking. There's a couple things that we'll need to talk about this, but first let's see some reactions from fellow uh, streamers and content creators. So we have Pirate Software here. While this is a victory for players, you've left a lasting stain on your brand as a publisher. Many players have very little reason to trust Sony going forward. Moving the business before you understand the player base is never the right choice. I mean, that's true. The Sony, I, I wouldn't say this was like, um, the only thing I would disagree there is like, I don't think they plan to like ruin their brand. I think they were just like, yeah, we have, we're this PlayStation company and we need to put this in. And this wasn't like basically brought up to the community's mindset, like as openly as it should have been. And oh, now here we are, we've made a mess. So I think that's the problem, but in no way do I think that they were actually trying to ruin their brand, but they kind of did. They, 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 they did, they definitely stained and tainted their brand a little bit. Um, so the next Sony game that comes out like this, you're going to be worried. And we're going to touch on that in a second because there's already been some news. Uh, fellow content creator Kelsky on YouTube makes great YouTube videos. You should definitely check them out. Really amazing stuff. He says, and we're back. And the CEO of Arrowhead Studios, he went out to post. I got to say, honestly, I always mess up how you say this. Pilestet? Pilestet? Pilestead? Chat, what, what is the right way of, of pronouncing this? Pilestet? He's like super transparent, super honest. And the entire time through this whole turmoil, he's answering everybody's questions. He's going out and, you know, he's trying to talk to people. He got a lot of heat. Uh, I got to say, like, sometimes gamers have to, I understand you're mad, but be mad at the right people, you know? This guy was putting in the work. And the story of how Helldivers 2 is created, of like seven years working on an engine that isn't even supported, and they still come out with this, and they're super pro-consumer. You know? 
these poor guys, I, I feel bad. So he goes on to say, is this the moment we need to tweet what you guys don't have phones, which is a reference to when Blizzard came out for Diablo Immortal, uh, which did not work well for them. Uh, <laughs> On a serious note, we are uh, talking solutions with PlayStation, especially for non-PSN countries. Your voice has been heard, and I'm doing everything I can to speak for the community, but I don't have the final say. At the end of the day, Helldivers 2 was published by Sony, and Sony's getting the final say. And while this hasn't been explicit, I mean, it's very clear. This is a Sony-mandated thing, and there's not much Arrowhead Studios can do. So, on one hand, we look at Helldivers 2 as no longer having the PSN linking as a victory. Right? There are some that would go, this is a win. But I want to remind you, this is a win now, in the short term. Because what's coming out now, and we can't validate this, but a uh, user on Reddit by the name of Butsuan, he just said, Sony just banned Ghost of Tsushima from being sold in all non-PSN accounts. He thought it was just Helldivers, blah, 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 non-PSN countries. So, I mean, while this isn't confirmed, I mean, we'll find out soon, but I would imagine now from the get-go, from day one, it will just be mandated. There won't be an option. Because why would, why would Sony do this again? And I also imagine Sony, of course, they'll want to have PSN in every country imaginable. I mean, sales are sales. So they're going to go where the business wants to grow. But uh, yeah, you know, I think it's going to be tricky to see what's going to happen here with Anim uh, Animal Well, with Helldivers 2. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. How do you guys feel about the Helldivers situation? Are you happy with how it played out? Are you angry with how it played out? Let me quickly read your chats here because you know you guys are beautiful. JJR Withers says in the chat, I'm not sure if it already has and I missed it, but I really, but it'll really go wrong if Ghost of Tsushima PC port goes wrong for them. PC ports have always had issues. I don't think consoles like PlayStation and Microsoft interfering helps. Lowkey4620 says, personally, I don't like linking accounts to games. It seems to never go smoothly. Um, yeah, I, I would agree. Like, it, it, it's very annoying. It is annoying. I think if it's just like a one and done thing, then it's like, yeah, it's not too bad. But um, I'm just not seeing the benefit, you know? Like they're saying it's more, from my understanding, the idea of PSN linking was, hey, we wanna make sure that the experience is safe for everyone and this will be able to make it easier for us to stop cheaters. Which again, I said in the previous stream, who's cheating on Helldivers 2? And I mean, if they do it on Ghost of Tsushima, why? What, what, what is the benefit I get for having my, my PSN account linked to my Steam account? You know? Like, I guess if I'm trying to play, uh, if there's crossplay, right? If I'm trying to play from Steam to PSN, then I have the benefit of having both, right? Is there crossplay in Helldivers 2? I don't even know. I should hope so. But that would make sense for PSN, right? Like, you want to play your Steam friends with your PSN friends? Like, that makes total sense. You would definitely want to have that. And then, you know, bada boom, bada bing. Make it optional, I guess. I never understood the reason of why not having it optional. Coming from, like, a developer mindset of just having it be an option, I don't see why it needs to be mandated. I'm, I don't know. x Bacon Gaming, they're looking for monthly active users, and that is all for the board. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, at the end of the day, like, Bacon's, like, that's the nice thing about Bacon and his posts in the chat. It's like... It's nothing personal. It's just a business move. They want numbers to go up. That's mm -hmm. all it is. They're not trying to take away numbers. That's for sure. They're a little tone deaf and they're a little like there's no emotion there. And I think that's part of the problem. But then also part of the reason they do their things is like they're just trying to make the business go up. And so they want to say like, hey, we have, you know, 25% increase in MUA, monthly active users, uh, sorry, MAUs month over month, year over year, blah, 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 blah. That's all they want to do. Who knows what's going to happen going forward with that, with the PSN stuff. But I imagine, unfortunately, I don't know what you guys think. I imagine, unfortunately, we're just going to get PSN mandated stuff from the get-go. But I think, for me, the Sony stuff, um, I think Sony, just make it, like, valuable. Like, if you add value, I think you help. And then, obviously, just make it optional for places like that don't have support at PSN. At the end of the day, you're losing out on a sale. Why would you want to do that? 